Hi everyone, I am excited to share with you the latest video in our new Blink IoT series. In this video, you will learn how to create an IoT monitored smart plant project that will help to control the water pump according to the plant's requirements using the new Blink IoT mobile app and web dashboard. My name is Bhupendra Singh and you are watching our YouTube channel SME Derdun. We have previously shared a video on smart plant monitoring with the blank agent method. But today I am going to share an even easier method to connect with the new blank IoT app. And if you enjoy our content, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and videos. We greatly appreciate your support. To start building this project at home, you will need the following components. Node MCU ESP8266 or ESP32 board, soil moisture sensor, 12 volt DC water pump, a relay module, 12 volt 2 ampere adapter and few jumper wires. First, we need to configure the new Blink Cloud template. Open your web browser and go to blank.cloud website. The link is also available in the video description. If you are a new user, you can create your new account by clicking on the create new account link. I am logging into my account. Inside the dashboard, click on the templates tab and then click on the new template button. In the new template property, write the name as soil moisture monitoring. Hardware as ESP8266 or ESP32 board. Connection type as Wi-Fi and description as IoT monitored plant. Click on done to create your project template on the new Blink website. Now we need to create the virtual pins to read the sensor data virtually. Click on the data stream tab and then Click on the new data stream button. Create a virtual pin for the label of moisture in the soil by writing the name as soil label. Pin as V0. Data type as integer and units as percentage. Write the max value as 100 and click on create. Next, create a virtual pin to show the status of the water pump by Clicking on the new data stream tab, selecting virtual pin and writing the name as water pump, pin as V1 and data type as integer. Finally, create one more virtual pin for a virtual LCD by clicking on the new data stream tab, selecting virtual pin. And writing the name as LCD, pin as V2 and data type as string. Once you have created the required virtual pins, configure the web dashboard by clicking on the web dashboard tab. Here you need to drag and drop the widgets required for the project, such as label, gauze and LED and resize and replace them as per your requirements. Hover the cursor over the LED widget and click on the gear icon to open the LED setting. Choose the data stream as water pump V1. Change the color to red and click on save. Open the setting of the label widget and choose data stream as soil level V0 and click on save. Finally, open the setting of Gauze widget, choose the data stream as soil level V0 and click on save. Once you have configured the blank web dashboard, click on the save button setting to save all the setting in your project template. To create the blink token, start by clicking on the search tab and selecting the new device button, which will present three options to add the new device. From template, scan QR code 
एंड मैनुअल एंट्री क्लिक ऑन द फ्रॉम टेम्पलेट ऑप्शन एंड चूज द सॉइल मॉइस्चर मॉनिटरिंग टेम्पलेट एंड क्लिक ऑन क्रिएट बटन बाय डूइंग सो द प्रोजेक्ट क्रेडेंशियल विल बी क्रिएटेड मैनुअली विच आर द ब्लैंक क्रेडेंशियल्स दैट विल नीड टू बी एडेड टू द प्रोग्रामिंग कोड Additionally the project template can be found in the device info tab After configuring the blink project on the website it's time to configure the blink iot app Go to the app store or android store and search for blink iot Install the app to your mobile and login Your project with the name soil moisture monitoring will be available Click on it and inside click on the setting icon. Here you will see a plus icon to add widgets to the mobile dashboard. Click on the plus icon to add widgets such as the label widget, LED, gauze and LCD widget to the dashboard and arrange them according to your requirements. Now click on the label widget setting inside set the alignment to middle select the data stream as soil level b0 and back to the dashboard now click on the gauge widget setting change the alignment to center select the data stream as soil level b0 and back to the mobile dashboard click on the led widget and inside Select the data stream as water pump V1 and change the color to red and back to the dashboard. Now in the LCD widget setting, change the mode to advanced. Add the data stream as LCD V2 and back to the dashboard. So we have configured the blank mobile app. Now it's time to program the code. Click on the link provided in the video description to get the programming code for both Node MCU ESP8266 and ESP32 board. Once you click on the programming link, it will redirect you to the programming code. Copy it and paste it into a new Arduino IDE tab. Save the program by clicking on the file tab and then save. Choose the location to save the programming code on your desktop. Name it as plant monitoring ESP8266 and click on save. At the top of the programming code, you will find the blank credentials that need to be replaced with your blank project credentials. So go to the blank website and click on the search tab to find your project named as soil moisture monitoring. Once you click on it, you will be taken to your project dashboard where you can access your project's credentials from the device info tab. These credentials need to be copied and replaced in the programming code. To establish the connection between your node MCU board and the blink cloud you need to define the blank serial and include the required ESP8266 header files. Additionally you need to specify the name and password of the Wi-Fi network or hotspot that you want to connect your board in the SSID and pass array respectively. Next you need to define the timer variable for the blank timer and specify the pins for reading the moisture level from the soil sensor and controlling the water pump. A virtual LED is also created to display the status of the water pump on the project dashboard. To control the water pump automatically based on the soil moisture level, a function named SME sensor is defined. This function calls another function named read soil which reads the calibrated soil moisture sensor value. 
if the moisture level is greater than or equal to 80 indicating that there is enough water in the plant the water pump is switched off and the message water pump off is displayed on the virtual LCD and the LED is turned off on the other hand if the moisture level is less than 20 indicating that the plant needs water the water pump is switched on and the message water pump on is displayed on the virtual LCD and the LED is turned on that means the program uses the soil moisture sensor to automatically control the water pump and keep the plant healthy by providing the required amount of water in the read soil function we have stored the moisture value in the soil r variable and mapped it to a range of 0 to 100 to display it in the blank cloud it is important to calibrate the soil moisture sensor with your board and a helpful video on how to do so is available in the video description the moisture level is also printed in the serial monitor and sent to the v0 virtual bin in the setup function the serial communication is started at 9600 baud rate the water pump function is defined as output and set to low to prevent it from the turning on at the start the blink.begin function is called the authentication token wi-fi name and password to connect the node mcu board to the wi-fi and the blank cloud the set interval function is then called to execute the sme sensor function every second and the frequency of the timer function can be adjusted as needed by changing the time from here in the loop function the blank dot run and timer dot run functions are called so this is our complete program now time to upload the program to our board but first change the blank credentials wi-fi name and password in the code then select your board in the arduino id under the tools tab and choose the node mcu 1.0 esp 12e module If you didn't find the board, then you need to install the NodeMCU board to your Arduino ID. The link is also available in the video description to guide you how you can. Now go to the tools tab in the port, select the port as COM4. If you didn't find it, then you need to install the COM port driver for your board the link is also available in the video description that will guide you how you can after it upload the program by clicking on the upload button after successful uploading connect all the necessary hardware components this is the circuit diagram for the node mcu esp8266 board follow this circuit diagram to connect all the circuits for the esp32 board you can find the circuit diagram in the video description once you have connected all the circuit it's time for the live demo Let's place the soil moisture sensor in the plant pot. Dip the 12 volt DC water pump into the water and put the outlet pipe of the water pump in the plant pot. Connect the power supply to the project and open the blink IoT. The water pump is automatically turned on since the moisture level in the soil is 1%, indicating that there is no water in the plant pot you can see the water start flowing into the plant pot now let's dip the soil sensor into the soil when the sensor is pushed deep into the wet soil the moisture level in the blank mobile app shows 100 percent and the water pump is turned off the virtual led widget shows off in the app as the sensor is slowly pulled out of the soil the moisture level in the soil decreases in the label and goes widget and the water pump is automatically turned on again because the moisture level is down the 
the project is working perfectly and based on the moisture level in the soil the water pump is automatically turned on and off accordingly you can see all the information in the mobile app and also in the blank web dashboard just log into your blank account and click on the search tab to find your project in your project dashboard you can expand it to the full screen while the project is online you can get all the information here if you have any question please comment in the comment box below and i will try to help you you can also contact us for your project or product customization please like subscribe and share this video with your friends and social networks all the information and links related to this video are available in the video description